Hi everyone, welcome to Tech Videos. The objective of this video is to explain Microsoft role based exams. So, we used to do exams like MCSA, MCSD, MCSE before. But now, Microsoft has announced that all these exams are going to be re expired by 31st of January 2021. Some of the exams even expired in this year by September 2020. So, what's next? So that's the question we're going to answer today. So uh, I'm Kushanta Gunawardana. Would like to take you through these uh, product-based and role-based exams. So uh, earlier we used to do product-based exams like MCSC, Microsoft Certified Solutions Expert, and Microsoft C Certified Solutions Associate, with various products of Microsoft. So we started with Microsoft Servers. Microsoft different type of servers like SharePoint, like Exchange Server, and we had product based uh, titles. But now Microsoft has introduced some of the cloud products. Examples are Office 365, Microsoft, Microsoft 365, Azure. So these products are having vast, vast and uh, large area to cover. So Microsoft is not expecting anybody to know everything. So since this, these are really, really broader products, Microsoft expect you to know uh, whatever necessary to do your job role or perform your job role. So according to that, Microsoft has announced or introduced role based set of exams. So let's look at some of the job roles that we perform. So some people work as a uh, administrators, so infrastructure uh, officers. So in that case, they need to follow MCSC core infrastructure uh, role. And then there are some other roles like MCSC productivity, mainly focus on some of the solutions or products called uh, Office 365 or Microsoft 365. And some people, they, their focus is on data management and analytics. So we are talking about Azure data and artificial intelligence kind of stuff. So these people are focusing on MCSC in data management and analytics and some people they develop applications or they build apps so then they can focus on MCSD app builder track or path and some people they can focus on business applications like dynamic 365 so they can focus on that so these are a Microsoft uh, role based certificate options uh, introduced by Microsoft let's look at uh, Microsoft website to see where we can find those uh, to get a bit more information related to that. So these are role based exams. So according to this, uh, uh, you know, they have introduced developer track, administrator, solution architect and functional consultant kind of uh, job role. So mainly we are focusing on fundamental certificates, associate certificates and expert certificates. So in other words, they provide you set of badges. So these are badges, right? In order to achieve expert certifications, there is a path. Once you uh, achieve the path or complete the exams, you can become expert or you can achieve a three star badge here. So once you achieve associate certificate, you will become two star associate and fun functional fundamental certificates will give you a one star badge. So let's see a bit more information related to these certificates. So if you go in there, so this is Microsoft website. I'll, I'm sharing you this uh, link below under uh, details so you can find out more information. So if you look at here, so there are number of certificate or uh, product-based exams earlier, which I explained uh, uh, in my, you know, earlier. So these are going to be retiring on 31st of January 2021. So after that, there will only be role based exams. So if you click on certificate level, you can find fundamentals, associate, expert and specialities. So if you click on fundamentals, you would see one star batch, right? So if you click on associate, you will find two star batch. So according to the exam that you select, you have to do one or two exams to become an associate. So if you want to become expert, uh, depending with the path that you're going to select, you have to do 
two or more exams. So you can find out according to the job role specifically what are the most suitable exams that you can perform or you can do. And if I select associate, for an example, I would like to take you through this one. So this is Microsoft 365 Certified Teams Administrator Associate, which is two star. In order to achieve that, you need to complete managing Microsoft Teams certificate or the exam known as MS 700. And if you go back, I would like to give you one more example uh, under associate track. So if I select uh, Microsoft uh, 365 Azure Security Engineer Associate. So here you would see uh, there is an exam to complete Microsoft Azure Security Technologies known as AZ500. So in order to become Microsoft Certified Azure Technology Architect Associate. So let me select uh, Expert Exam. So you can find out all this information from microsoft.com slash e and us slash learning path so i'm going to select this time uh, a certif uh, expert certificate uh, let me check one of the certificates so this one microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert this would give us more information now in this case it is really really clear so this is your final goal three star expert microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert so in order to achieve this, you need to complete these two plus one here. So once you complete for an example, Microsoft 365 Certified Teamwork Administrator Associate, the previously shown exam, which is MS 700, then you will become Microsoft uh, Administrator Associate. With this certificate, you need to again achieve 365 Identity and Services 1, and Microsoft 365 mobility and security. So once you complete these three, you will become expert certificate, uh, expert, expert in Microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator. If I click on here, you would see, so this is the exam that you need to do, right? Microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator. Uh, so if I click uh, this certificate, MS 100, the other one is MS related exam is MS 101, uh, 101. So you need to complete all three exams in order to become Microsoft 365 uh, expert uh, in Microsoft 365. Identity and service MS 100 and other one is MS 101. And together with these two exams, you need to complete one of those, one of those team uh, work net administrator associate or security administrator associate so whatever the administrator associate one exam or uh, this batch you need to take other two exams so altogether three exams will give you microsoft 365 certified enterprise administrator expert i hope this is informative and then if you go here you would see the number of certificates uh, that you need to complete in order to become uh, expert level so this will be the future in Microsoft, all our role-based exams, and then you can uh, book your exam through online uh, Pearson VUV or online any certificate uh, provide, uh, exam provider, and you can go ahead and you do your exam. This will be really, really beneficial for your future. So I hope you understand the role-based exams. So uh, thanks for viewing. Hope to see you with a new video.